Hi everyone, it's Fantabulously Cherry back for another Dance Mommy vlog. It's been a couple of weeks since I vlogged. Oh! And with me as always is Josie! Ah. Can you tell him hi? Say hi. Hi Josie. <laughs> Can you give him kisses? Wow. Oh, it's so sweet. So, in this installment, I am going to redo the dining video for Disney. Uh, we are one week away from going to Walt Disney World! Yay! So, we are... Um, we I've made a lot of changes to our dining experiences. Um, some out of necessity. Um, I've, some spots that I had originally wanted had opened up. Um, some others were just like... You know, I, I I don't know. It's hard to explain, but um, some of them I've replaced with um, more of the character buffets because they're a little bit more economical since she can eat off of our plate. Um, but um, all of our breakfasts are now before rope drop, so that takes even less time out of, like, early morning. And that takes a lot of time um, that we wouldn't we wouldn't be in the park away, so we'll have more park time. So, anyway, uh, I wanted to go ahead and update you guys on our new uh, dining choices. You are so silly. You say, you say hello. Stop. No, ma'am. Okay. So, first day uh, when we get there, um, none of those plans have changed. We're still eating lunch at 50's Primetime Cafe, one of my personal favorites. Hey. And uh, we're having dinner at Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater, which I haven't been to in years. And so we'll see. Uh, the menu looks really good, though. So the next day, we're still doing Ocker Shoes uh, before rope drop. Um, lunch, we are still doing um, Coral Reef. Um, I, I, I think I explained. I love that place. And I know she's going to absolutely love it. But for dinner in Epcot, I changed my mind about going to uh, Tutto Italia um, and go to a place I haven't been to in a very long time. Um, but it's a character buffet. Uh, well, it's actually more like an all-you-can-eat type, like family-style type place. Uh, it's called the Garden Grill. And it's in Future World in the Land Pavilion. It's right there where... Um, Soren is and living with the land which is not going to be open while we're they're doing a refurb on living with the land um, but if you've ever been if you've never been to the Garden Grill it's a rotating restaurant it's a very slowly rotating restaurant and it you can see scenes from the living with the land um, uh, ride um, you can see inside of it um, including the farmhouse but it, there's a it's a, like I said it's a character buffet and Sorry, she's making a little too much noise right there at the camera. Um, bless you. Um, you're welcome. You're so you are so sweet. Oh my goodness, you're so polite. I love that. Um, but the characters are Farmer Mickey, uh, and they're in their farm gear um, since it's like the Garden Grill. Um, last time I ate there, it was like really the food was excellent. Um, not really, not not really. I kind of compare it to like a family meal, but not like a like a Thanksgiving meal like the old Liberty Tree Tavern was. Um, but um, this character this uh, character buffet has Farmer Mickey, I think Farmer Goofy, and then it has Chip and Dale. Who she's not going to have you know this is going to be her only interaction with Chip and Dale for the for the trip. So I thought that was a good way for her to meet them and interact with them. And they're always a hoot. Um, I remember. Um, they were at the, when they used to have the character meal at, um, Liberty Tree Tavern, uh, Chip and Dale were there and, like, Chip signed my autograph book first and then Dale got it and wrote Stinks <laughs> under Chip's name, so it said Chip Stinks. <laughs> so, um, they're always a lot of fun to interact with, so that's the first change. Um, the next day we're still doing Tusker House, um, character buffet, um, for lunch, uh, we're still doing the Yak and Yeti. Um, for dinner, we're still doing Raglan Road, so none of those have changed. Um, but I did get an earlier time so that we're going to leave 
the park around 3.30 or 4. Since, like, I mean, they close at 5, so we're not going to be missing a whole lot. Um, but... Uh, we're going to get there a little earlier so that we can actually go over to Magic Kingdom and catch Ma uh, Wishes and Main Street Electrical Parade. Since we're not going to have time, we're not going to be able to do that on any of the nights that we're there because the nights that we're actually going to concentrate on, or the days we're going to concentrate on um, Magic Kingdom, um, the Halloween party's going on. So I thought that that would be a good, good substitute. Um... Okay, the next day there's gonna there's a lot of changes. Um, I decided against be our guest for breakfast. Um, it just looked a little expensive for just a quick service breakfast, and I really want to eat dinner there. I want to do the the whole dinner there before, which is almost an impossible thing to get. But um, so we decided to instead of going to lunch at this place. We're going to do the breakfast buffet at the Wave of American Flavors, which is over at con at the Contemporary. Once again, pre-rope drop. Um, I've heard excellent reviews about the breakfast buffet, so I'm looking forward, <laughs> as I say, <laughs> for every meal uh, and every experience that we're having, we're, I'm looking forward to that. So lunch, um, since we switched to there, and so we can stay in the park and not park hop all three meals, um, we decided, Josie, can you pick something a little louder? Seriously. Seriously. She's so funny. Oh, Josie! Now she's got the Doc McStuffins karaoke machine. Ah! Okay. Um, so for lunch we're going to be doing, um, the, uh, the Plaza, which is on Main Street USA in Magic Kingdom. Um, I mean, I've heard so-so reviews, but I mean, they've got like meatloaf and just your traditional, you know, just your traditional meal. Either way, I mean, it, you know, you just can't go wrong with it. So, I mean, it's got meatloaf and burgers. You know, I mean, <laughs> you can't really go wrong with it. So, um, then dinner what, um, is, has not changed. We're still doing 1900 Park Fair. Uh, but we got a little bit later of a time, which will be, which is a perfect time in between uh, when we're doing lunch at the plaza, and then it gives us enough time to get back to Magic Kingdom for the Halloween party that day. So, good to go there. All right, the next day, um, I don't think anything had, actually something has changed. Uh, for breakfast, we're still going to the Polynesian um, for Ohana, and then that's another um, uh, Hollywood Studios day. Um, so we're still doing the lunch at Hollywood and Vine, which is the character buffet uh, with the Disney Junior characters. For dinner, we are, and I, actually, no, this hasn't changed, uh, the time just changed, um, the Hollywood Brown Derby. Um, but I was able to get a little bit earlier of a time, so we're not so rushed and can still make um, um, Fantasmic. We have Fast Passes for Fantasmic that night, so um, just change time on that. So that should be pretty phantasmic. I'm such a dork. Okay, um, so the next day is an Animal Kingdom day. Uh, I don't... Yes, something has changed there. Uh, we are still doing uh, Boma for a bre for breakfast, uh, their breakfast buffet. Um, just changed it to an earlier time, so it's before Rope Drop at Animal Kingdom. Oh, no. And oh, no lunch, I changed... I was kind of on the fence about this because I'm not a big fan of chain restaurants, especially when you're eating at Disney. But we're going to do the Rainforest Cafe because, let's face it, there's just not a whole lot of options when it comes to um, Animal Kingdom as far as, like, any sort of, like, sit-down meal. But it's still there on the premises, so we're not necessarily, we're not going back to, you know, I had had Sana there, or Sana which is there uh, at Animal Kingdom Lodge, but we're not having to leave, really leave the park to, to do dinner or do lunch, do lunch. Um, but I ate at the one in downtown Disney in 2001, and I think I only had like the, like the dessert there. I think we only had like that chocolate lava cake thing that they have. So I haven't really eaten there, and I think that place is kind of like. Any dining experience, especially with character buffets, it's not about really the food. It's about the ambiance. But hopefully they'll have some good food there. Um, and then um, dinner that night is still at Chef Mickey's. Um, 
their character buffet. If we decide to, um, um, if we're able to get in for Main Street Electrical Parade and wishes after the dinner, um, so be it. If not, then we'll have it covered the, that, you know, a couple nights before. So, the next day is our last Magic Kingdom day. Um, decided to switch things up on this day. And I was able to land an early pre-rope drop breakfast at Trails End Restaurant, um, which is um, at the Fort Wilderness Campground. Um, basically, you would, you get on a bus to Magic Kingdom and then you take a boat over to the campground. Um, but I've eat, I ate there, and, and it's a breakfast buffet. It's not a character buffet, but it the you know I ate there several years ago and ate there several times in a row. Uh, the food is really good. I mean, it's just your typical breakfast type stuff, but it's really good. So decided on that. And then for lunch, I uh, changed things up on that one as well. Um, I decided to go ahead and get an ADR um, and go over to um, the Wilderness Lodge, which is also a boat ride from the Magic Kingdom. Um, to go to Whispering Canyon Cafe. Um, I've eaten here many times. It's usually during dinner, but we're doing lunch this time. I think the menu is pretty much the same for dinner. Um, it's a lot of fun. Whispering Canyon is a lot of fun. They, all I can say is ask for ketchup. <laughs> uh, but if you get a really good waiter, and I highly recommend asking for Senior Dusty Trails. Uh, he's been there for years and years and years, and he is like the most amazing waiter that I've ever had um, at any Walt Disney World. Uh, but, I mean, he will make a, he'll take one of those giant um, coffee filters and make a bonnet and put it on your head. You're not allowed to take it off because he'll, no, no, no. Um, if you drink your drinks really fast like my husband did on our uh, honeymoon trip, um, He'll make the sticker and write out fast pass for the bathroom. <laughs> and then he'll announce to everyone that you got a, he got a fast pass for the bathroom. And then tells them, don't laugh because now he's headed for the pool. <laughs> so, uh, it's just, he is just the most amazing waiter. So, if you wind up at, um, at Whispering Canyon Cafe, ask for Senior Dusty Trails. That's all I'm going to say. But we're going to do lunch there. Um, and then dinner has not changed. That's going to be Crystal Palace, um, which is the Pooh, um, the Pooh character uh, din uh, dinner buffet. Um, we're going to have to leave after that uh, because they're having the party there. We're not paid for the party that night. So we may go do Fantasmic, may go back to our pool and swim, you know, back, back to Port Orleans and swim, may just go to sleep. <laughs> Maybe maybe another shot at Downtown Disney. Um, don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's our last full day and night there. Um, that next morning, I went ahead and before we check out, I got us fast passes for Soarin' um, because that's my favorite ride. Um, but um, I got us a lunch. Uh, once again, um, I think I covered this on there. Uh, lunch, lunch at Beaches and Cream. Um, Best burgers on property. Big thumbs up. Um, and the No Way Jose. Although my husband still says he's going to conquer the, uh, the the kitchen sink. But just my opinion. If I see it, I'll believe it. And especially if he can do it in the time frame. But anyway, um, that those are the changes um, that I made. I, you know, I made notations on the original... Um, the original thing, but I figured I'd go ahead and do like a little updated video, uh, with our dining plans. Um, what I might do later this week or, um, yeah, what I might do later this week is make a video, make a vlog about, you know, th certain things that I pack. Um, I got my new bag here. Let me see if I can, if you can see it over there, it's hard to see it. It's a Jansport backpack and it's got it's red and white and got little hearts all over it. Um, you know I have to have something fantabulously cherry. Come on, it's got to be fantabulously cherry. Uh, so um, 
uh, I've got some shopping to do before I do that vlog, um, stuff that has to be packed. Um, and another thing I didn't mention in my park bag video is we are going to take like this little mesh bag, um, for her, um, to put her diapers, her wipes, a change of clothes and, um, and like a, a change of clothes and, um, like sunscreen, you know, just a little in, in a sippy cup, just things for her. Um, and you know, I've kind of, you know, I'm a worry war and you know, when you've been robbed before you, you have an inherent distrust of people. Um, so I was debating on whether or not to take a, you know, leave anything in the diaper bag and, you know, do like a diaper bag type thing and leave it in the, in the stroller while we're on attractions. But the reviews that I've read, people have pretty much said, you know, if you, if you make it like, look like a big deal, then yeah, people are going to, you know, people are more inclined to steal something like that, but we're just going to put it in a mesh bag, put a mesh bag. You know, just, it's about this big, I can't remember what I originally had in it, um, and put the diapers in there, put wipes in there, and then you're good to go, you know, and that you can leave in, in the bottom of the stroller, um, and we got a rain cover for the stroller, so we're good to go on that. Um, I think that's about all I can... I can really think of, um, but we are so freaking excited. She really, you know, I mean, you know, she's two years old. So she doesn't, when I say we're going to see Mickey Mouse, she doesn't get that she's going to see him in person. And I've, I, I've actually told her, you know, you're going to be able to give him a hug. And she's just like, no way, mommy. So she doesn't get that she's going to be there in person and get to see these characters that she loves and when she sees him for the first time and and her normal reaction seeing him on tv is 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 golden so i cannot even imagine how this is how awesome this is going to be but um once again i am planning on vlogging um uh dining reviews that day uh i might actually you know take some video of you know food um in certain experiences and vlog on that as well um but after the Disney trip, we get started with dance again. So maybe I'll actually do do some, you know, vlogging about, you know, being a dance mom on my dance mommy vlog. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I guess that's all for now. And um, uh, please comment below if you um, have questions, if you have comments, um, suggestions. Uh, suggestions on videos, you know, suggestions on experiences while we're at Disney, um, anything having to do with dance or being a dance parent. Um, well, I want to hear from you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, give the thumbs up on the like. Um, and I appreciate everyone watching, everyone who watches. And um, yeah. Hey, Josie, you want to come say bye bye? No. You sure? You sure? Okay. She's being shy now. Okay. So anyway, um, so I will see you on the next video, guys. Love. Bye-bye.